Hey guys, you all know that Jerry Springer just passed last month, April of 2023. Well, a lot of people do videotapes of their will reading, what they want to say after they're gone. Then the lawyer who is presenting the will reading to the loved ones will guide them through the will in terms of what the person's wishes were. So the lawyer will play the video and the people who are present will get to hear what the person who passed on left them. So as Jerry is reading the will, it was astonishing. And I guess two of the kids were happy and two were very disappointed. But I'm looking at this story with a little side eye because I don't even know if it's really true. But I see Jerry's lips moving as the will was being read and he was stating what he wanted to be carried out after his death. I don't know if he got a DNA, but these kids don't look nothing like Jerry. Not the boy, not the girl. You guys can drop it in the comment section, your opinion concerning this matter. Don't forget you're coming on my page. You hit that like button immediately. Get it out of the way. And if you haven't subscribed as yet, and you keep coming back to the page, it's time for you to do so. With that being said, let's get into the video. So TMZ broke the story, and a lot of people are saying it was fake. This will reading was fake. But the thing is, all the children were in the background. As the will was being read, they were listening along with a lawyer. So I don't know how fake it is. Goodness, I, I, I got nervous all of a sudden. I can stop it. No, 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 keep rolling. I... I can't be more nervous than my girls uh, will be when they watch this. So, well, girls, I I thought I'd know what to say by now, but the truth is I don't. If I know anything, I know you two have been fighting probably moments before you hit play. But seriously, girls, if you're watching this, then I know that I've been the cause of more than a few fights recently. Megan, look at me, sweetie. Jordan, Megan, I know I wasn't the best father, not even the best example of a man for the two of you, and there's nothing I can do now to change that. I know that. But I do want to try to make right what I can. John and Misha, I know you don't know me, but I hope by the end of this, you'll know why I did what I did and why I've done what I've done. Where do I even begin? Well, first off, I know you've been wondering why your mother has been left out of all this. The reality is, this is what she wanted. And I don't know what all she shared with you, but I hope you're open to hearing me. And believe in me when I say she chose this. Well, really, I put her in an awful position and then she did the same to me. <clears throat> Shortly after you were born, Jordan, I met and fell in love with another woman. And I had a child with her a year later. This was obviously very painful for your mother. It was painful for me. I found myself feeling things I'd never felt for someone I would have never imagined. It was confusing and complicated. And I shared all this with your mother. She tried forgiving me, but she just couldn't do it. More than forgiving me, Joan couldn't bear the shame of divorce or outside children. So she forbade me from seeing that woman and our child again. And I did what she told me for as long as I could. But no matter how hard I tried, I could not stay away from Melinda. John, Misha, I am so... De There's nothing... I I loved your, John Misha, I did a terrible, terrible thing for terrible reasons. I let fear and ignorance and quite honestly, hatred keep me away from you and your beautiful, beautiful mother. And I have spent the last 26 years in complete and crippling shame. And it is still a drop in the bucket of the immeasurable amount of pain I have caused each of you. My wife learned of your arrival, Misha, and demanded that I cut you off completely. I tried to reason with her, but she threatened to expose my infidelity and my illegitimate children. 
And I was such a coward. I'm a coward even now for making this video instead of making the effort to meet you. I am ashamed and disappointed in myself. I didn't know how to stand to my truth and stand up to my wife. I did, however, manage to stand up for you, John and Misha. While Joan kept me away from you with the threat of exposure, she did not keep me from providing for you. You see, I told her that if I had to accept a life without you, she would not get a red cent of my fortune and that you would be named equally in my will in the event of my passing. But with everything going on in the world right now, I realize that I have to go a step further. Jordan, Megan, I leave our home here in New York, in New Orleans to you, to you to do with whatever you want. The rest of my estate, my properties in Mississippi, Georgia, South Carolina, my bank accounts, investment portfolios, all liquid and intangible assets, everything, all of it will go to my children, John and Misha. Girls, all your life, I've been telling you to make your millions, and I hope you have. If not, you can always sell the house and split the profit. But my entire estate, um, my entire estate belongs to John and Misha, and it is up to them to do with it what they will. It is truly the least I can do, as I and this country have failed you. And hopefully one day, America will do what's right as well. That's it, Brad. My father? What a prick! Um, unbelievable. Um, this is a lot to process. <laughs> I guess black lives really do matter. Seems so, Miss Williams. Seems so. Let's get down to business, y'all, shall we? So that was the lawyer saying, let's get down to business. So now the lawyer have to divvy up the assets legally and everybody got to sign off. But can you imagine the disappointment for two of the children, the ones who belong to his wife, Joan? They must have been so disappointed that the assets were not evenly distributed. But guys, drop it in the comments if you think this video was a real video or was it fake? Megan and Jordan were shocked. And you can't blame them because the only thing he left for them was a house in New Orleans. And everything else, his entire fortune, you have to pretty much say, went to John and Misha. Because he was so riddled with guilt. And all these years, he kept himself away because of the threat his wife Joan made to him that he should stay away because she would scandalize his name and put him out there in the media for everybody to know that he had these two illegitimate children, John and Misha. But he was lying, but it was too late for him to make up for lost time. And the only way he felt as though he can rectify the situation in his mind was to leave the bulk of his fortune to them. The doctors give them a certain time that he would live. And when he got that diagnosis, he came clean with these children, John and Misha. But other two children he had with Joan had a very good life with him. I'm talking about Megan and Jordan because he was a multimillionaire and they lived the best life, went to the best schools. He said he would always tell them to make their money. And I guess he must have given them the best schooling, guided them because he was in social media he put them on platforms, uh, let them meet people who can make them money. And he said, listen, you're on your own now. I provided for you. I left you a house. Do with the house whatever you want to do with it. It's worth money. Okay? In my estimation, it's worth probably a couple of million. But in any event, he left the bulk of his... Well, you, you got to say all his estate, pretty much, except one house. He left everything to John and Misha. These two black kids who he had turned his back on for years. And he was riddled with guilt. You know when you're close to dying and make things right with people? Well, this is his way of making it right with his two children who he had out of wedlock.
So I hope they do good with what he has left them because he has left them a vast estate that is worth $60 million. That's pretty much what he left them. So Jerry died last month, April the 27th, 2023, at the age of 79. According to Google, his net worth was $60 million at the time of his death. So you guys know me. I'm looking at this story with a side eye because these kids don't look nothing like him. And I'm wondering if he had a DNA test because he should have done a show about his own life. He should have done a, who is your daddy? Where's your daddy? Am I your daddy show concerning himself? Because he used to like to do those type of show. You're not the father. So we want to know if these are really his kids. Is he the puppy? And if Jerry did not do a DNA test, he should know better. He knows because a woman says you're the father, don't make it so. She's the only one who knows if you're the father or not. And if you got any doubts, you got to do a DNA test. Because I'm telling you, looking at them two kids, I don't see a smidgen of Jerry Springer in neither one of them. And I know some of you guys are going to say, well, he don't have to look like the kids. And the kids don't have to look like him for them to be his kids. I know all of that. But what I'm saying is, was a DNA test done? Because a woman can approach any married man she has slept with and tell him that this is his child. Or these are your children, but it don't make it so. That's all I'm trying to say, especially a man who is rich, okay? And a woman is trying to trap that man. I'm not saying this woman did. I'm just saying a lot of women are trifling like that. And when a man is trying to protect himself, he's got to do a DNA test. So YouTubers, drop your comments. I'm over now. Don't forget to hit all the buttons before leaving the page. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.